How, how you feel about the new law in Louisiana? Um, starting July 4th in Louisiana, you could be 18 years old, no training, no license, and you could have a handgun. 18 years old. It's only like five or six states. Texas, same thing, but you got to be 21. In Louisiana, one of the most dangerous states, I think Louisiana and Mississippi are the most dangerous states in Alabama. Um, but Louisiana and five other states, you can have a handgun at 18, starting July 4th. Uh, that, that's a law that protects and empowers law-abiding citizens. So all states should impact that law. Uh, because that's a law that, that, that it really helps and benefit white people. Because most black children are catching felonies by the time they're 18, 19. So most of them got a felony by the time they're 17, so they exclude them. But they're going to carry a gun anyway. So since they're going to carry a gun anyway, how about we level the playing field and we pass a law? See, the white man win by passing laws. The white man beat us because he make law. Niggas don't make law. So we can't beat that white boy. You got to beat him with law. Dred Scott, the slave, Mel the Steel. So you got to beat him with his law. The punks, the LGBT community went and got a law to beat him. The Asians, nigga, they went and got a law to beat the white boy. So everybody coming with laws to beat the white boy. The white boy passing laws, nigga, to balance this shit. Because we're going to go to a civil war. And when we go to a civil war, the laws of the land still work, nigga. We catch you over here during wartime, nigga. You ain't supposed to have this weapon. So we got to strengthen his country with law. So I understand. So I tell all young niggas, nigga, don't catch no felony. My son want to hang on bad in the business. Nigga, just wait. You be 21. You can carry a shotgun and a rifle, nigga, if you get you one. But don't be so anxious to carry one, nigga, where you ruin your chances of being able to legally carry one. So you agree with this law? Hell yeah, I agree with it. Because that makes New Orleans way worse than what it is. That makes Baton Rouge way worse, may, way more dangerous. Uh, no, it don't. Because think about this. Criminals don't follow laws. So yeah. how does it make it more dangerous? It's going to be what it's going to be regardless with them. There you go. It makes it more safer. Because now my 18-year-old son, who normally would get in trouble for carrying a gun, now can protect himself against this 17-year-old who's illegally carrying one. That carries one without this law. Criminals don't follow laws. That's what we got to remember. Yeah. So when they pass these laws and legislation, the criminal's saying so? So yeah, I'm in agreement. Hell yeah, I'm for it. Damn. What about um in Florida? Next year, anybody under 14 can't get on social media. Good. Good. Yeah, that's real good. It should be like that across the board. Yeah. Yeah. It, it really it really should be 18, homie. Huh? Anything under 18. Anything under 18, homie, it, it shouldn't be. Uh, because it, it's been proven, uh, Man, even the big techs ha have come to our government and said that, hey, we have to do something about uh, minimizing advertisers and advertisement to, to kids on social media. When, when we was kids, homie, uh, I wouldn't say it was illegal, but it was, it was immoral to market and advertise to children on Saturday mornings during cartoons. They wouldn't do it. Mm. And this is a proven fact. They didn't do it back in our day. So something happened where they said, okay, we're gonna start marketing the children. And, 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 and so that's the, that's the dangers of, of, of uh, social media. Uh, it, 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 it gives access to our kids uh, with no protection. With, with no protection.
So uh, I think we we as adults uh, and, and and leaders in the communities and of society, uh, before this shit go any further with the AI, uh, we we need to sort this out. And 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 who should be allowed to to be on social media, especially with AI coming on? Man, you mentioned AI two times. Man, who been putting you on game? Oh, uh, I'm studying. I'm reading. This shit's I mean, crazy, right? I, I, I've been I've been studying content, right? Uh, content creation. So with content creation comes AI because AIs can steal your content and be used over here. So you 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 have to be up on this shit, my nigga. But one thing I know, nigga, AI won't be able to replace the human brain because it's the human brain, nigga, that created the AI. The AI don't didn't create the human brain. So the AI won't have all the answers. It can't critically think. So they think about this, homie. They remove criti critical thinking skills out of school. Kids don't critically think because of standardized testing. So the kids won't think. The AI can't critically think. It just has an answer, but it can't critically think. So who gonna be thinking? For the humans, because humans gonna be relying on AI. So man, yeah, I'm up on that shit, my nigga. I ain't finna be no digital slave. What you think about um, Jalen Green, man, Houston Rockets player, getting getting Drea pregnant, man, and he's 20, 19 years younger. You feel like he's trapped? He got trapped? Did he get trapped? Yeah. Yeah, 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 he got trapped. Hell yeah, he got trapped. Boy, a sucker born every day. But boy, ain't nothing like that good old hoe pussy when you got mama problem. Yeah, boy, when you got mama issues, that's how this type of shit happens. Uh, yeah, yeah, nigga find mama in that pussy. Uh, you, it, it, you know, it's like going to Walmart, nigga, all, everything in one shop. He was most definitely trapped, and she know what she was doing because she done been through many basketball players. But she won. He lost. Yeah, he out of pocket for that. Yeah, he fucked up. But he a young nigga. How much money he got? Shit, man. He probably about to sign a $200 million contract. See, that baby go get 70. Yeah, that baby go get 70 million out of 18 years with a hoe like her. Hey. Yeah, yeah, she gonna take his ass through the ringer. He he he's the same age as her son. Ah, uh, if I were him, I'd be fucking uh I'd be fucking her son girls too then. We the same age. Yeah, me and him will become brothers instead of father and son. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah. If I were him, yeah, yeah, he'll be a yeah, hell no. Nah. He in an ideal situation that I would like to be in if I was his age. Last thing, um, Honeycomb Brazy, he, he's mad at his whole family because none of his family came to his recent court date. He said he's done with everybody, family, friends. It's just him. Ma'am, you go to jail three, four, five times, ain't nobody supposed to come to your court date, nigga. They sick of that shit. Nigga, fast as you went back to jail, should nobody showed up to your court date. Oh. Uh, man, when you make the bed lie in it, nigga, don't get down there and be hollering family, cause you done been down there seven times. What about them first time, five times you were down there and they was at every court date? What about when you came home, homie, and they were happy to see you? And soon as you come home, you on the internet with the internet. And all these other niggas, you, you trying to get your lick back. You ain't coming trying to stay home, nigga, to put us. No, nah, nigga, you the one can get us down. Nigga, you our lifeline. So when you go back, we hurt. We disappointed. Nigga, we ashamed. Because we got to, we been talking, me and my nigga, woo. We got to defend you online. We defending you at work. You looking like a crash dummy, my nigga. You looking like a stew head. You ain't looking like no big dog, nigga. Like how you know. So man, nigga hurt. And to come back, you want us to come to court for what? This ain't your first rodeo, big dog. 
You a gangster. Nigga, Uncle Wayne went to prison and we ain't even know he was there. Nigga, they thought Uncle Wayne, where Wayne? Nigga, we ain't seen Uncle Wayne for years. Grandmama went to the feds. Nigga, my mama didn't even know what grandmama was, nigga, for years. Nigga, real gangsters go to jail and don't worry their family with nothing. Nigga, my brother went to prison and saw my uncle in a prison newspaper playing basketball and said, Mama, Uncle Wayne down in such and such. Man, nigga, down there 10, 12 years before somebody found out what that nigga was. He didn't write no letter, no nothing. Y'all, I mean, he didn't notify nobody. You chose this life, nigga. Why you want us in there with you? Only one obligated that's going to be there with you, nigga. They got killed. Mm. They got killed. So now, my nigga, he wrong. He, and him and any other nigga that feel like that, huh? Uh, especially if you grown. My nigga went to prison at 15 years old. He still waiting on his mama to come bring the bond money. Mm. His mama told him to figure it out. My nigga took 20 years think, thinking that's a, I'm going to take 20. He a kid. At 15, this nigga, nah, my nigga. See, that's why I, 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 I challenge these niggas. That's why, I, man, you niggas, man, this shit hypocrites, my nigga. That's why this shit disgusts me. These niggas talk all that gangster shit, talk all this about this. Celebrate the rapping niggas, homie, but as soon as it hit home, it's a po' me. It's a po' me pity party. So I'm saying, nigga, that's why I abandoned. All street rules and ethics. You can't stand on them as a man. And you damn sure can't stand on them by yourself and be able to hold your head up. The niggas that's standing on them motherfucking codes, nigga, they living and dying in agony, nigga. Dragging their feet at time, walking with their head down. Knowing, nigga, ain't no rewards to this. But I'm stuck on stage. That nigga go get stuck on stage, my nigga. With all the talents and all, man, they go get stuck on stage. And when I be looking at Gilly, homie, I be saying, man, this nigga will get a nigga stuck on stage. I'm down for telling and calling the police. I'm a law-abiding citizen. I'm not a criminal breaking law, so there's no way for me to be a snitch. I'm not a criminal breaking law, so there's no way for me to be a snitch. I've never been a adult criminal breaking law, so I ain't never been a snitch. I've never been in no trouble to have to tell on no nigga. I'm a nigga that'll tell on a nigga if he me. I ain't a nigga breaking law to tell to get out of trouble. And until we teach the difference, uh, yeah, we go keep being misguided. I, I see, I see a Bitcoin hoodie. Is that a Bitcoin hoodie? No, nah, no, nah, man, it's my nigga Black Lips. Oh, Black okay. Lips is a, is a black label. Yeah, yeah, I don't believe in Bitcoin. I think Bitcoin is one of the biggest scams in history. Wow. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, no, nah, this Black Black Lips, man, my boy Barry White clothing label, man, out of so out of, out of, out of Charlotte. <laughs> so, you're, so you'll never get into cryptocurrency? No, never. Although that the dollar is losing value? Uh, yeah, uh, 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 land not losing value. Uh, guns don't lose value. Uh, gold don't lose value. Uh, 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 different kind of products, textile. So uh, salt and pepper not losing value. Uh, the exchange of coins and, 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 mo and, and money slips will, will one day come to an end. Uh, we're going to have to start bartering. Niggas, hey, man, I got two chickens and, 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 and a goat. Can I get three of them pigs? Man, I got a cow. Nigga, we have to go back to that kind of shit. Man, I got some potatoes. I got seven pounds of greens. Nigga, seeds go be money.
Hmm. Uh, between Russia and China, they playing with our internet service. I'm going to say it again. Between Russia, China, Iran, and North Korea, how many they playing with our internet capabilities and our satellite and, 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 and our services? So Russia have a, uh, it's called an EMP, electronic magnet home. They can stand and put us back in the dark ages. They do it every so often, make it like it's a glitch. But how much these be a tax coming? Seventy some million AT and T users' information leaked to the dark web, nigga. That's China and Russia. But we can only save twenty million. What about the other fifty million? We can only put protection on twenty million. What about the other fifty? So, uh. We're not preparing for what's to come. So between bitcoins, uh, dollars, quarters, nickels, and pennies, it's going to be replaced for uh, pillows, uh, blankets, uh, yeah, yeah, toiletry. Labor. Uh, c c kernels of corn, that kind of shit. Yeah, water, clean water, uh, water purification tablets, shit like that. That's what's going to be money in the future. It's people making millions off this, this crypto shit, though. Who? It's a lot of crypto millionaires out there. Where are they spending their money and how they living? A lot of them move to Dubai. I don't want to do that. Because Dubai laws are too strict. You can't you smoke or anything. You can't anything. Yep. So why would I want to leave America, homie, and lose my protection and my rights? I ain't no passport, bro. I ain't interested in going overseas and trying uh, uh, barbecue salmon. Uh, nah, homie. I, uh, I ain't into that. Uh, my uncle come home from prison, and while he was in prison, men able to call him and tell him he got some money, and he hit big with the crypto. But because he come home and can't remember that password, he uh, can't yeah. get the money. Yep, that wallet. That. You got, you got, you need that password to get into that uh that wallet. So, so with with Facebook and all these different platforms that can be hacked and can kick you out, and you have to get back in and can't remember the password. How many? That's nah. But see, nobody owns Bitcoin though. Who? Nobody owns Bitcoin. It's not a it's not a service. It's not a customer service. You could call if you lose it. Once you lose it, you lose it. They Who can't kick it? you out of your wallet or anything. Who created it? Huh? Bitcoin created itself. Uh, a guy named uh, Satoshi, an Asian guy, created it. But he he's off the grid now. Nobody could find him. So whenever he get mad, he can take everybody money from Bitcoin. Think about that. He created it and can't nobody find him. You don't think the government got him hid somewhere and saying we can't find him? And whenever they get mad, just like they took over the cash out when he died, he mysteriously come up dead and now the government running cash out. So he created Bitcoin and he's off the grid and can't nobody find him. What if he get mad off the grid and can't nobody find him and hit the button and say, I'm taking y'all money? <laughs> you sound like Warren Buffett. That's the same thing. Warren Buffett said the same thing, though. Uh, man, two he great minds think alike. He, he thinks the crypto shit is bullshit. It is because one man created it and there's no oversight. And there's, there's no line of communication for you can call and say, man, I'm going to transfer my money here. I don't know. Man, damn, scare y'all. Hmm. That's scary. At least the banking system, as, as conniving as it is, uh, as racist as, as it is, uh, man, fuck the bank though, man. You try to withdraw twenty thousand, they they fucking interrogating you. Yeah, niggas, but, my money. Why why are you asking but, but, me about but, my money? It, it, it's not the bank. It's the government who told our banks when somebody try to withdraw this amount over nine thousand, we need to be notified because of taxes. Yeah. Yeah. So, homie, that's why, nigga, that, listen, 
uh, even with the American dollar falling, it's still good in America. It's still good in America. The rest of the world, like, fuck that dollar. Even Cuba. Cuba just got with uh, Russia and uh, China and said they trying to join. And I think this the first time, this the first time ever that the American dollar has fallen this low ever in its existence. Sa Saudi Arabia. Come on now. That's like the oil capital damn near. Oh, uh, and I understand why they're doing it because the American dollar is, is backed by nothing. Yeah. And every and everybody else's currency is backed by something. Mm -hmm. America don't it's not backed by anything. But we have Fort Knox. We have a gold depository that we can back gold with. We can back it. We just don't have to. See, one thing about America, we know how to control the, the value of our dollar by going to war with somebody. That's why, that's why America go to war, homie, to control shit like this. Now, y'all gonna keep buying from us. That's why we'll go to war with a motherfucker before we let them do that. And that's how we dictate and dominate our, our economy system, is normally through war. And we are the baddest. It's just that we don't let too many people into our country. I don't know. A couple of interviews ago, you said China. You said you fear China, North Korea. You know, uh, I fear China. Uh, I fear Russia because they also have a nuclear arsenal, but they don't. They don't have the technology. They don't have what we have, homie. Uh, they got the manpower. They got the tenacity. Yeah. Uh, China has a huge uh, population. Army population, military yeah. population. Uh, and, and they have rights in America. So that, that's what yeah. makes it dangerous. They, and they have rights in America. Yeah. They could set up some shit, right? And they own, China owns a lot of land out here. China owns 80% of America's chicken and pork processing plants. 80%. Mm. So a lot of our chicken and pork go, starts here go to China and then come back. So we don't know if they exchanging meats or not. We don't know what they're doing, but not just our, our chicken and pork processing plants. They, they own a lot of land next to government buildings and government sites. So they've been positioning themselves for a while, home of the strike. Damn. So uh, I, I, I've, been in a, I've been in the politics and government for a while, homie, but that shit become depressing. So I just started buying a bunch of guns and bullets and ammunition. And then that shit start becoming depressing. Trump, Trump or Biden? Who 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 you got for this election? I know you say you're not voting, but if you had to pick one, Trump. Yeah, Trump. Uh, uh Biden. Biden took us to a whole nother dimension. Uh, nigga, ain't nobody got no mind. It seemed like nigga, it seemed like home. Boy, when I come home, nigga, I'll be like, God damn, homie, everybody struggling. Yeah. Shit, man, damn. Or do you just feel like people are just lazy now because the internet? Nah. It don't seem like people. It don't seem like people hustle like they used to. Got they got that pep uh, in their step. Because nigga, you talking about inflation? Uh, gas. Uh, eggs them went to twelve dollars. Milk ten dollars. Man, shit. Uh, the the prices don't went up. So, and then the value of the dollar is going down. Yeah, so you get yeah. less for your bucks. And then, nigga, uh, between Amazon uh, monopolizing the trucking industry, uh, Amazon coming with the, with the warehouse job, monopolizing warehouse working, nigga, where else can you hustle at? What hustle? Everybody selling clothes. Uh, around here in the Dallas Fort Worth area, nigga, everything closed at two now. Uh, so that 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 cut a whole lot of funding. Uh, uh, everybody making their own dope, so dope ain't really sitting like that no more. Hmm. Uh, everybody got weed. Uh, what nigga have to find a gift and a talent? Nigga got to have a business idea. Nigga hustling is, 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 is a day by day.
that's a day by day job. Nigga hustling, man, I'm hustling. Uh, nigga got to invest. Hustling trying to, come, man, that's scratching. Nah, man, nigga got to have something in place that's working. Some residuals. Yeah. Some passive income. Fuck hustling. The days of hustling is over, homie. That's real. Uh, Unless you hustling your, your, your business. But nigga, if you ain't hustling no business, what you hustling? Mm-hmm. And, and, and what is your hustle? What what benefits do your hustle provide other than just taking care of the bills? So, nigga, you got to have a job and a hustle. Yeah. You got to have a job and a job. Facts. So, yeah, no, nah, my nigga. So, I, I don't think people are lazy. Uh, I, I think uh, America... I think America is falling, like Babylon. Mm. Yeah, I think America is falling, my nigga. People want to know, why haven't you been on Club Shay Shay yet? I don't think, uh, I don't think Shannon Shaw really fuck with me. Mm. Yeah, yeah, now, nah, homie, the, the, the industry people don't fuck with me. So the Breakfast Club, uh, uh, none of these people rock with me, homie. I think people are scared because once they get associated with you, then they lose people. Uh, no, uh, it, it's not that they scared. Uh, they know I'm telling the truth. And my truth stands against the industry. Because the things that they have to question me about, my rebuttal is, y'all didn't say nothing to King Von. Mm. That's my rebuttal. What about rap music? What about this? So that's my rebuttal. And, and so it's easier to dismiss me rather than to be afraid of, of losing somebody associated with me. Because uh, platforms grow when I'm on them. Man, it's been proven platforms grow when I'm on them. <coughs> uh, I did uh I did a, a live stream with uh back on fig. I seen that. <laughs> Nigga, they numbers out the roof. T real. Yeah. Uh I was I was I was told by some people in the industry, hey Charleston, uh whatever you do, don't ever sell yourself short. Because you are a well of content. They said that I'm a well of content. So I think these industry people, homie, they they done this, they done took a personal disliking from the things I've said. <coughs> so they made it personal. Because when DJ Academics put me on there, he didn't lose followers. Uh Revolt TV, they didn't lose followers. 85 South, they, actually these were some of the biggest numbers that they have ever had on their platform. So they don't lose numbers. It's just that this is personal with them that because these are their celebrity friends. And, and, and if black people didn't know, celebrity really have a us against them mentality. They really look down on us. They really think they better than us. So they re that's why they don't come down off their high horse and come down here. That's why they, nah, homie, so that's why they think I'm talentless. Yeah, I mean, who, so homie, the industry blacks really hate me. But the industry white people love me when they meet me and see the personality. How, nah, homie, but the industry black people, man, he said this. From Snoop Dogg, Daddy, how many people really, really dislike me based off what I've said. Mm. And I'm saying, look at all the things y'all have done and said. Mm. Look at all the things. Homie, I can go down the list. Tupac was accused of rape. Kobe Bryant accused of rape. Mike Tyson accused. Of rape. I can go down the list. And these people are convicted. They love Mike Tyson, but nigga, Mike is a convicted rapist. It's documented. Kobe Bryant settled a lawsuit for rape. I can go on and on and on and on and on and on and on, but not with me, my nigga. So that's how you know a nigga telling the truth because the truth hurts. And I've been hurting these niggas motherfucking ass, my nigga. Mm. And so I'm saying at this point, leave me at the bottom where I'm at because this is where I'm thriving at. 
at the bottom with the people. Mm. The people made me a celebrity, my nigga. The celebrity people say I ain't no celebrity. But boy, the regular people in life, they swear up and down I'm a celebrity. So I'm going to stay down here with the regular people because they made me a star. I think if you were to walk through, well, when you do walk through the mall, it go crazy every time. Uh, I let my window down uh, this weekend, uh, downtown uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee, and the kids rushed the car, homie, like, homie, it, it blew my mind. I let the window down, nigga, the kids rushed it. They said, that's Charleston White, and the kids went crazy. The police had to come, yeah, I'm talking about they, man, it was, it was, it was mayhem. And, and, but what I noticed, homie, all them kids was up at that window. Nobody was disrespectful. Nobody tried to reach in, grab a nigga chain, none, none of that, homie. Man, they were just excited to see a nigga. Uh, that's what humble a nigga. See, I make all the adults mad. And boy, I make all the kids happy. And, and so that's the balance. Yeah, that's my balance. Uh, Charles, uh, last thing, Charles Barkley said uh, if he was to see any black people walking around with Trump merch, He'll uh, he'll he'll punch him. <laughs> yeah, he trying to die. Yeah, yeah, he ain't gonna punch now, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, he ain't gonna man, he ain't gonna punch nobody wearing no motherfucking Trump. Yeah, hell no, nah, he just talking. But but man, but why would you want to punch somebody wearing a Trump shirt? But you don't want to punch no nigga wearing a blue bandana or a red bandana. Why you want to pick on somebody for their political stance? And you go, and you say you go bring harm to him. Is this the mind of a black man? That's the white man mindset. The white man used to want to kill you if you didn't go vote Democrat. The white, this is the white man mindset to hurt you for what you believe. I want to vote for a president who don't support lesbianism and LGBT, and you go punch me? You promoting a president that promotes transgender visibility on Resurrection Sunday, and you go punch me? Yeah, yeah, they ain't, yeah, 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 yeah. Last nigga punch me, I'm out on two bonds for it. So yeah, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. Nigga better learn to keep they motherfucking hands they sell. But I don't see you with the with the mega hats no more though. Uh, you, don't, you don't got the campaign I, how you I, used I, to. I, uh, I ain't in the politics no more. Ah, uh. nigga, I'm an entertainer, celebrity, having fun, making money. Y'all don't watch me transition, nigga. I'm yeah. far from a MAGA hat, nigga. That's when I had dreads, and that's when I was poor, nigga. I didn't, nigga, nigga, touch millions. Fuck, I won't go to politics for a nigga to touch millions doing this. That would be ass backwards. Mm. You don't get pussy talking politics and MAGA hats, brother. I'm on the pussy getting level now, Jack. So fuck them motherfucking prop man. Fuck politics, nigga. Nigga, I'm overdosing and winning calm. Man, uh, I mean, what you got coming? I know you in movies now. You've been working with Aiden when Ross. I leave here, like, uh, uh, when I leave here, uh, shout out to Kanye West. Mm. Uh, yeah, me and Kanye talked the other day. So me and Kanye meeting in a, in a few days. So. Uh, one of the first thing he said was, man, I don't want to talk all this and say this and, and, and wait weeks down the road to meet. So I'm, I'm looking to link. So yeah, we, so we, we feel the lock in. Uh, That's legendary. Man, lock in on what though? Oh, uh, sound like a friendship. He want to, he want to interview me. He want me to interview him. So sound like a friendship, homie, because we share, uh, similar, similar spiritual ideologies uh yeah yeah so 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 that's gonna be real big that's gonna be real real big that's legendary man i can't wait to see that yeah so uh, i just got a text message today uh from a man true uh saying that i got a las vegas residency coming for with comedy so uh yeah that's 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 gonna be big uh uh, there's a new there's a new comedy club that just opened up in downtown Fort Worth. They knew in the area, so uh, yeah, they didn't reach out to me to come. Yeah, yeah, to come do something in downtown Fort Worth. So that's 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 gonna be real big. Uh, man, I got a lot of shit going. Uh, mainly mainly in comedy, mainly in co comedy and movies. Uh, I, I wanna I wanna redo the Murder Change Me uh event uh again. 
So uh, that's something I'm gonna be working on this summer. Uh, my yeah, that was a brilliant idea, man. That was brilliant. Yeah, my, my, my documentary is finally completed, and so uh, uh, I've had some big offers for it. So yeah. So are you still are you still working working with Aiden Ross? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I still work with Aiden. Uh, yeah, they uh. I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to show the man on the internet and 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 uh because I'm thinking well maybe people want to see Charleston. No. Hell no, nah, nigga. No nobody want to see Charleston on the internet. They want Rat Williams, the internet persona. They want wild and crazy unk. And so uh nigga that's what I'm going to keep on that's what I'm going to keep online. I uh, think I think you got a big enough cult following now to where as though you got people with sense that you don't have to get out of your element for people to fuck with you. You don't have to be disrespectful. I feel like you could be yourself now when people will love it. Why you say that? Uh you don't you don't you don't you don't it's not broken, so why fix it? As soon, as soon as I release the character, man, because that's the that's the most entertaining part of the persona. Charleston is Charleston is not entertaining. If I don't cuss, if I don't say fuck your dead nigga, I ain't entertaining. Mama want the wild man talk. Yeah, homie. So, uh, so it's going. It's, so it, it's transitioning from Charleston Rat Williams Chicken Shit Charlie to Unk. Um, Unk is the lovable guy. The wild, lovable guy doing the 20 versus ones. So, nigga, I probably can brand Unk for another three to five years before I have to try to evolve past Unk. So, rather than me trying to just bring Charleston online and kill Unk, because Charleston gonna get too serious. Charleston be gonna be talking serious topics, helping kids. Uh, Charleston gonna be getting more debates. Nigga, unk can talk crazy and laugh and never be taken serious and just be funny. Uh, I saw it, homie. Nigga, as soon as we got through filming that, that shit with Aiden Ross and them, uh, nigga, we went to the Hope Farm. Nigga, we did, nigga, they took that down because it showed me in a whole different light. Mm. Nigga, all my videos that show me anything positive that's Charleston. I said the out. I said either the algorithm is rejecting it, or nigga, my audience don't appeal to a positive Charleston. I try, I be testing to see, and nigga, if you go look now, you'll see, nah, homie, that positive shit don't get no play in the trunk. They want that negative shit, nigga, that ignorant nigga shit, and nigga, that's what I serve them, and they love it. So I got me and Tasha K for the link up. Uh, me and Tasha K been talking, so we about to link up. Uh, she saw the interview when I talked about uh, 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 Nesto and them and, and, mm. and the broad when they when they when they when they ran off with my ID and shit. So she saw that interview and she was like, "Man, you the missing piece," because she been doing a whole research on that case. So she waiting for to talk to me to. It's a whole bunch to this shit. So she didn't know I was involved into that case until I said that. And she apologized to a nigga. She like, "Man, I didn't know. Man, I don't." And yeah, yeah. So she she really seemed to be good people. Uh, just talking to and rapping with her. Uh, and she and she doing a comedy thing, homie. So right now my focus is to revolutionize comedy with this conscious comedy shit that I got going on. I ain't telling jokes, nigga. I'm telling the truth. It's conscious comedy. So, That's hard. Yeah. So so my first comedy show was in Chattanooga, Tennessee, man. Shout out to them niggas out there in Chattanooga, Tennessee, man. Uh. Uh, I had a Q&A type comedy show that was mixed with adults and kids. So I had to try to get on stage, nigga, not be too rated R, not be too, uh, and I couldn't figure out how to do it. I couldn't do it, my nigga, so it was hard to be that, you know, to be that kind of funny with kids out there in the crowd. So I had to find something, uh, and I think I found something new. Man. Yeah. Hey man, I, I appreciate it. Classic as always. Um man, every time I feel like you can't get bigger, you get bigger. No, you get bigger than what you were before, pause. Uh but uh 
Man, I appreciate you, bro. And uh, and I appreciate you getting me on a documentary too. That was huge. The, the Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, that's gonna be big. Just 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 for, yeah, that's they, but they wanted you, homie. Uh yeah. Like they yeah, they uh Mr. Alderman, uh he specifically asked for you, so yeah. Yeah. Uh, shit. and shout out to Rollo, man. Yeah, yeah, shout out to Rollo and Gold Mouth and you know, man. Uh yeah. Yeah, uh uh I wasn't gonna do the interview with Gold Mouth. Uh Cause I was tired, and the nigga said, "Man, Rollo want to meet you." Man, I don't feel like fucking Rollo and them, man. But man, I fuck with them nigga. Man, I was tired, uh, so I, I went on ahead and did it. Went and done the interview, and it's actually a great interview. Uh, so Rollo was in the uh, yeah, that nigga, he, he wire, yeah, he 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 a live wire, but his energy, uh, yeah, yeah, he got that energy of a leader, man. So shout out to Rollo, man, uh, fam, goon, them, man. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, man. Uh, yeah, appreciate y'all, my nigga. Uh, Atlanta really rock with me. Uh, Tennessee, Nashville, Chatter, they they really rock with me. Miami, uh, my yeah, Miami Gardens, man. My Jamaican partner, them down there in Miami Gardens, man. They showed nigga a lot, lot, lot of love, homie. Uh, I had got into it with one of them little, little rapping niggas out there in Miami. Uh, he he paid me. Uh. Yeah, 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 Raw Mean. Yeah, he paid me to promote Raw Mean, little old song, and she a rapping little old chick. And so uh, I told her that I gonna come to their neighborhood. And when that nigga gave me the address of their neighborhood in Miami Garden, it was at a Chevron. And nigga, when I pull up at that Chevron and seen all them niggas, and I was in an Uber and a Lyft. Man, I ain't finna get out here. And we in the heart of Miami Garden, I hit that little nigga, say, I don't even see it. He said, no, nah, man, I'm right. Man, I ain't, nigga, you done gave me an address to a gas station? Come on, my nigga. I'm thinking we coming to a studio. So I said, no, nah, I'm finna go. Nigga, I'm finna send your money back. No, nah, you can keep the money, big homie. No, nah, nigga, I'm sending your money back. So, you know, the lift nigga trying to put me out. Nigga, I'm not getting out of here with all my jewelry on. So, I mean, take me around the corner. Nigga, I go right around the corner to another gas station in this little nigga neighborhood and get out. And it's a bunch of Jamaicans. So I'm trying to go to the ATM machine and get some, get some cash. Nigga, I'm by myself. Nigga, just nigga. So as I'm at the ATM machine, a nigga in the wheelchair said, hey, Charleston Blue. Nigga, I don't even respond. I said, man, that nigga must know something hotter than Charleston Blue. Hey, no, bro, that yo, I'm just letting you know, man, you good over here. You know how the Jamaicans talk? I'm trying to ignore him. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So she and nigga, the lift driver, I give him his little tip. He burn off and leave me. So I'm stuck out there with them Jamaican. Uh, nigga, I only to stay out there for like two hours, nigga, kicking it. Uh, and yeah, yeah, bonded with my new Jamaican cousins, my long lost cousins in my mind. Uh, but showed a lot, showed a nigga a lot of love, man. So, uh, yeah, shout out to Miami Gardens. So I, I, I've been bonding and connecting all around the country, homie. Uh, they call it networking. Uh, I call it establishing business partnerships and collaboration. The Underground Railroad. What, what's the top three? What's your top three markets? Top three cities? Yeah. Miami. Atlanta. In Vegas. Mm. Yeah, Miami, Atlanta, and Vegas. Miami, Atlanta. Shit, nigga, after, uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I like Eric. Don't get me wrong. I like Phoenix too now. Mm. Yeah, I like Phoenix. But my top three Miami, Atlanta, and Vegas. Yeah. All them money getting cities. Mm hmm. All three of them niggas get money out of all three of them cities. Yeah. Man, I, I appreciate it, bro. Um, until next time, you know, we're going we gonna to r- keep running it up. And Say, man, you know we got to get baby cash, right? OG baby cash. Out yeah, we, so, yeah, next time uh, we're going to do- we got the gonna... phone set up for you. Uh, this yeah. is going to be legendary, homie. 15-year-old kids tried as an adult. Nigga had eight. Yup, next time let's do it. Let's, let's get everybody. Let's all sit down and do something big.